welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today I want to show you guys how I made these bottle cap charms. I think they're really fun to make and I've been collecting these pieces. Sometimes I find them on our walks and I've been collecting a few of them and I've also been just hanging on to a few because I knew I wanted to try a craft with these. So these are pretty fun and pretty easy to make and I'm going to show you guys what I did. Okay, so first you grab your um, your bottle cap and then I grabbed a pair of pliers. So basically you can make them two ways. One way is like this where you just uh, flatten it like that or you can actually flatten it out. So I'm going to do this one first where Let's see, which one should I do first? Should I do this one or this one? Um, you know what, I'll do this one first. Okay, so basically I just use a pair of pliers and I just go around and open them up. So I'm just trying to kind of flatten it out, outwards. And then, and then I'm gonna pound it with a hammer on there. And this one, let's see. I pound this one down also. Um, so first thing, I'm gonna grab a towel and my table is fairly sturdy. My husband made it and it's really sturdy, but you're gonna wanna make sure you have a very sturdy place to do this. You can also do it outside or on the floor. Um, just make sure it's safe and that you protect your furniture or your floor. You don't wanna ruin your furniture or your floor doing this. Okay, so I'm just using this hammer that came with my, I actually have this, I have this kit from making memories with, and that's where my hammer came from, but you can use any hammer. Okay, so I'm just gonna pound. Okay, so there is this one. And then this one. Okay, so here's this one, and it's not totally perfectly round, even if you look at this one. This one's not perfectly, like you can see, when it bends in, it's not perfect, but I like them, and I use them for my journals, so um, if you're gonna want the perfectly rounded bottle caps, I'm sure they have them at uh, your craft store, but I just thought it would be fun to kinda work with these ones. And so, so yeah, so these are a little bit better because they're not as sharp. These can be a little bit sharp, so you wanna be careful with them. But I'm an adult and I'm okay with it. Okay, so here it is and I love it. Um, I think they're so fun. And now some of these, my husband actually used a drill and he drilled a hole in them but you can also just use a nail. So um, I'm gonna do these ones with, um, I didn't have a nail so I just grabbed this screw, but obviously if you can have 
it drilled, I think that's better. But if you don't have a drill and a tiny drill bit, I think this will work also. Okay, so there it is, it went through. Okay, and I'm gonna do this one too. Now you're also gonna wanna consider like, some of these I'll just tie. Some of these I'm just gonna tie on, but some of them I'm gonna use like a jump ring. And so you're gonna, like this one, I didn't think about um, getting it closer. I should have gotten it closer so I can fit this little jump ring in it. But um, I'm gonna do this one closer. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind when you poke your hole. Make sure you wanna keep it close to the edge. Let's see. So you can poke your little um, jump ring through that. I got my little hole there and then I have a jump ring I can add okay and then you can basically decorate them you can use twine to put them through um, to attach them you can also use like a little um, a little chain like I did in this one I think it's so cool I love using the chain and you can just decorate them. You can add little beads on there. You can do all kinds of things. I have this. This is my vintage envelope art printable. And what I did was I cut these pieces out. And that's what I used on here. I cut one. Of, I used one of the seals. And so basically, I have a couple more here that I could use. You can also paint them if you wanted to. You can glue little pieces down. You could even glue like little bits of lace on there. So you can actually just do a whole lot with these. I think they're so fun. And they just, they're really cute to kind of dangle from your um, journal. And you can also add like, let's see, like a, you can add them to a paper clip. And um, you can, you probably might want to use a jump ring first before you just put them on a paper clip. But anyways, I thought this would be a super fun project and I wanted to show them to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to add this little jump ring. On here. We're just going to close it up, okay? to get it to focus okay so it's always easier to use two of these um, I don't know what they're called pliers or something okay I'm feeling so clumsy I'm not sure why I've never done this on camera before and so maybe that's why Okay, so when you open these jump rings, you're supposed to turn them opposite like this and then turn them back. That's going to be, be easier to get them closed up properly than if you just pull them straight this way. You want to pull them the opposite way like this. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me show you guys again. Okay, so when you open this jump ring, you want to open it this way and also close it that way you don't want to spread them apart if that makes sense and then you'll get a tighter tighter seal okay so I made that one let's see if I can I don't know if this will fit on there it's really hard to do on camera too because I'm trying to get it close to my face I probably should have used a bigger one on this one, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna... Pull them apart like that. Ok, 
chin. So there's this one, okay, and then this one. So if you like them kind of grungy like this, you can use them for a grungier journal, but you can also paint them. So um, I think that would be fun too. Okay, so now I have two, one on top and one on bottom. And the cool thing is you can even do make this into a little dangle and dangle other things from here. Like you can do a little charm, that would be really cute. Or little beads. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But... Okay, I decided to make a little little like tassel. I don't know how this is gonna look. I haven't made them before, but we shall see. Okay, so I basically just wound this around my fingers like this. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I wound it around my fingers, right? Now I'm going to tie this in the middle. I thought maybe a tassel would be cute um, on the Coca-Cola bottle caps. Like we'll, we'll go for a walk and we'll find these. Um, the, we live kind of close to a lake that's been um, that's been kind of drying up, and so a lot of times we'll find a lot of these bottle caps and sometimes even vintage bottles at the bottom of um, what used to be the lake which now is just like a valley. So we'll take walks out there. And so I decided to bring some of the bottle caps home. I thought, well, maybe I can do a, um, a craft with me. So I thought, what can I make with them? Okay, so now I'm gonna tie this. Let's see how this is gonna look. I just want to tie this right here. I hope this turns out okay. But I used to watch my grandma make these little tassels for our hats. She used to crochet and knit us hats and scarves and little ponchos and sweaters and she always made these tiny little, she used to make these uh, little tassels. I'm gonna cut this in here so I don't make a big mess. So, what if I attach one of these to this? That might be cute. I kind of like it like this, but you can hang it from the bottom too, but I kind of like it from here. And I'm thinking like how cute would it be? And also include it like on a tag, if that makes sense. To play around with it a little bit more but here's the tassel that I made okay okay so I made this little um, it's like an embellishment. And so basically now I'm thinking how do I wanna use it? And I'll show you guys kind of my thought process. I have um, some different pieces here. Like I have this envelope. This is from my vintage envelope um, art. And then so is the, the seal that I have is basically this is what it looks like it's my envelope art and i just love using them like this and so 
I thought, okay, I can tie this up like a bow and then just tie it to the envelope or I could glue it on here and then I could poke holes on the side and then maybe use twine to tie maybe more pieces together like, let's see, something like this. And I can tie them together and so that gives you some extra dimension that might be pretty um, so then I thought okay let's make a couple extra pieces and I'm gonna actually do this let's see what else can I do I think I think I want to Tear this up just a little bit higher. And then I'm going to ink this. Okay. So these are like bits and pieces you can use in a journal. Let's see, what else do I want to add to this? I think this needs to be torn too. going to show you guys I did this one so you can just use it as so you can use this as just kind of a dangle at the top of a tag so this is just a tag that I printed um, it's from my um, this might be from my autumn breeze kit I will link it below and then I use um, a ticket and I just stapled it on there it just kind of gives you like a nice um, contrasting color and so it makes it really easy to just staple the, um, the twine on here. So I love the way that looks. And of course you can keep on embellishing and adding pieces maybe, let's see, um, on here. Like this is pretty nice. Let's see, I think I have another piece here somewhere. Maybe I can use this. So, um, okay, so now let's move on to this. This is what I was trying to finish up. So I just want to add like kind of like layers and then kind of tie them together. Oh, here's this. This is what I was looking for. For this side right here. I like that. See, isn't that cute? And this could be a tuck spot right there. You know what, I'm gonna glue this down since I already have it going. So I did a few of these off camera and um, sometimes it's easier to create off camera and so um, that's what I was doing. I was just like, okay, let's see what I come up with. I kind of was drawing a blank of how to use these. So um, I kind of played off camera and then this is what I came up with. Okay, so there's that one. There is this one. The charm for the journal. Um, you can use it on a tag and then we can also use it with this paper. And I want to add something else, something Okay, let's see, I'm gonna pull out more pieces so I can see, I always like having different options. Um, maybe I'll use that on there. This, and that, okay. Okay, so basically we just wanna decorate 
this so that you have just like a little bit extra like something extra on here like you can do this I kind of li am liking this one see how cute is that I want to see if this will take it now. This is basically I coffee dyed some wax paper. Wait, is it wax paper? No. This is actually um, I coffee dyed some uh, tracing paper, and that's what that is. this I think this will work really well I have a grungy kit with like different sentiments that you can cut out and they basically are like let's see if I have them here so they're basically washi strips with different um, sentiments so I just cut those up I cut them out and then the edges I tore because I like that that torn detail. I'm gonna glue this down first. Let's see, what do I want to do with this? Sometimes I feel like when I turn the camera on um, and I just start crafting that that makes it a little bit harder to create because I feel like I have to come up with something so let's see what do I want to do I like this but see that's that's there's not enough contrast right there so it looks better like down here maybe I'll just go down here but I don't like that I think I'm gonna tear a little bit I feel like the composition like the the amount of paper compared to the rest of it is not is not right. So I like that. And then should I add something else? So basically I can either add more papers on here so that it's staggered like this. It's not too long. Or I could just cut this right here and then you know cut that one too. But I think the hearts are pretty cute. So let's see if I add some hearts to this. So I just like that bit peeking through, if that makes sense. Okay. And I glued it down, so I'm going to make this just a bit shorter. Okay. And I'm going to ink it up a bit. Okay, let's see how that looks. I think that's cute. still thinking it needs some contrast between this piece. We'll just use some ink. Okay, and then this piece. And I like the way you can kind of see it peeking through. I think that's super cute. Okay. I'm just going to glue this on. So technically, you could just make them um, and staple them. But I wasn't planning to use this, so I wasn't to use this many, but I think that this is best and it's okay to change things up. Wait, 
let's see. Let's see how this looks first. Okay, so I'm thinking, where's my word? So basically, if I add an embellishment down here, that'll fill up the space and I don't have to cut it, but let's see what I wanna do. Cause I'm not quite sure. Um, I thought I had a sentiment here somewhere. Hmm, where'd it go? Where's my new day? These are cute too. Like, did it get stuck in here somewhere? I think I want to put that lace up there. I'm just moving on. I usually do that. If I'm like stuck on something, I don't want to waste time, so I just move on. And um, I'm sure, I hope my little sentiment is somewhere here and I'll come back and look for it. Okay, and so this right here, I just want to tie that. Okay, so that's how it is. I like that, that little bit of lace. It's, uh, it's nice contrast against like the darker color. I love that, I think it's really cute. Okay, let's see, here's my new day. Okay. So technically speaking, I don't know, should I put this up? Here, should I go there? I think I'm just gonna cut it here. Should I do that? Hmm. Or should I just add another piece? Go like that. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. Change things up. I hope I'm focusing because um, I guess I move around a lot and I forget. thinking that, let's see, where is it? I can do that or in the middle or on the side. I like it on the side. Like, okay, I'm gonna glue this down first. I think I like it on the side here. Tear this off just a tad. So technically you can have all these layers to journal on or like you can journal on here. This is gonna be like that. I might just glue it down. So you can put little like love messages in there. That might be really cute. Okay. So that's cute. I kind of love that. So that could be just kind of like another like little piece right here to your envelope. And so basically what I'm thinking is what if I use this and then let's see. I'm thinking to just glue it on there like that. And then have like some twine that ties through this. So I'm gonna just poke a hole. And I think I have my hole punch here somewhere, but I seem to be misplacing everything. Okay, we're just gonna go with this, okay? And I found another one of these labels. I love using these labels, guys. So what I could do is use this one. No, I like this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna poke two holes in here.
I'm gonna grab some of this twine. Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to kind of like make a little bundle of these. Okay, so then this is gonna go through here. Probably might want to use a needle to thread it through, but this will work also. Just made the holes a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go underneath so you don't see that. Okay, you can go either way, but this way we can have this like a little a way to attach everything on here. And then you can tie it up right there. But this I want to glue right here. And I'm gonna just tie a tiny little, I'm just gonna tie it like this. So cute. Now I want to glue that there and I'm just going to use this to glue it on and hopefully it will work. Let's see. Okay and then I just want to Drop it off to the side there, and I'm gonna let this dry for a while. I don't wanna mess with it. Meanwhile, while that dries, I'm going to see what else I want to add to this. So I have these two pieces. I think we need something in here too. So, let's see. I have this pretty paper. I love this so much, and I'm going to um, I think I'm going to fold it so it will fit in here. So basically, you know what, I think I'm going to fold it smaller. I'm going to tear it. I love torn pages. And so, I'm just going to tear this. This is great for journaling, collaging, whatever. I just, I love to journal and then just tuck them away in my envelope and then kind of attach it to my journal, either with a paper clip or I just tuck it into a pocket. So that's kind of how I love to use this. love this. This is like an egg blue and then this is like a creamy color. I love that so much. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so we have like a little place to journal and that can go in here. And then maybe I'll have, let's see, what else can I add? 
I'll have this piece. Okay. I like the edge, but for now I want them all to kind of match and be torn. this I'm gonna fold it up also but this I think I'm gonna leave on top it'll be nice to have like an extra layer like a little embellishment right there. I hope that's dry. So basically what you have here then is Okay, so I basically tied them up and there you have a little little collection of little pieces to either use in your journal or just even tuck them in the journal like like that this is so cute okay so you can just attach them in here with a little paper clip and how cute is that if you do this uh, project and you do try these out I love to see your version, so if you want to tag me on Instagram or on Facebook or wherever you're at on social media, I'd love to see um, your version of these. I think they're super fun and just like a really cool way to kind of um, embellish a journal. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell button.